We're here on Mariner of the Seas. We're in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. They do dock at Taino Bay, which is in walking distance to the Umbrella Street. And also you have the area over here where there's complimentary loungers and umbrellas, a lazy river, swim up bar. No water slides here, but there is amenities here that's free and we're gonna take a trip up to the top of Mount Isabel de Torres. It's 2,600 feet above sea level. And we're gonna take a taxi to get there. And Porto Plata is money port, means money port in Spanish. So this is an old port that is uh, very good for them on commerce. A lot of cargo ships come here and so I guess it brings money. Take some, take you along for the ride. So we'll be back in a second. Right, we're at the edge of the pier, Taino Bay. Mariner is the only ship in port today. It's the same port that the Wonder of the Seas docks at. So you make your way in here, and we will look for taxis. there and you go out to the water area but we're gonna get a taxi right now take your way to the left when you get to the muster area this is kind of the duty free and taxis so this is welcome to Pino Bay Follow the flow. There's a parrot over there. Little huts here. Yeah. We got a cantina. I would definitely recommend wearing good walking shoes. Don't wear sandals or flip flops or even Crocs because it's a lot of walking. So I advise wearing good walking shoes. There's a mojito bar, lots of bars here. It is hot and humid. It is June 5th, so that's not surprising, but so we got a lazy river here. And we can keep walking to get to the taxi. There's the lazy river, just to show you. Goes underneath there. Goes around in a circle. You pretty much have to push yourself. It's not a current that takes you. But you get an inner tube and it's all free. Here at Puerto Plata. Alright, we found the taxi driver. Alright. So we're just gonna go up to the cable car. To go up to Mount Isabel de Torres. It's $35 for three of us each way. They will wait for us at the top. We will pay when they pick us up and head back. So $35 for three people each way. 
So 70 round trip, okay? Yep, thank you. All right, 70 round trip. Okay, we're in the taxi with Rafael. Uh, <laughs> Numero uno. <Yeah>. Mejor. <laughs> Mejor. Uh-oh. Yeah. Got lots of scooters and motorcycles. This is a motorcycle, it's in four or five, five people in the motor, no problem. Wow, yeah, they put three One, or four. One, two, three, four, no problem. They'll pile them on whatever can fit. Going up to Mount Isabel de Torres, 2,600 feet above sea level. People here just drive, you know, crazy. It's worse than Puerto Rico. <laughs> I haven't seen one traffic device or sign so far. Oh, I see a traffic light. All right, there is one traffic light in this town. It's a quite old area, commercial, mostly commercial. Trying to think of what this reminds me of. It's hard to hard to say. It's very old. Part of it reminds me of Cuba, but a little bit. We're here at the tram station, and tickets are ten dollars round trip. They give you a green wristband. What's that? This is the map we have there. Yep. So map. that's where we're going to go. All right. I want to tell you something about this. Because if you want to find everything of that, sometimes by yourself can be a little difficult. That's why we work here to give you the service. You know? Well, the people for give you the tour over there. If you want, I can go with you over there. You know? No, we're just going to hang out. We're going to take some nice photos time. and come back. That's pretty much it. Okay, if you don't want. Yeah, we can do it. All right, thank, thank you. you. We are waiting for the cable car. Probably have to move out of the way here. That's where we're gonna go up to the top. You can see one of the cars coming right now. So we'll see you on the cable car. All right, we're getting in the tram. Here we are. We're in the tram. How many people can it fit? Well, this one please, because from here, how you can have that amazing It's probably like 15, 20 people. Make a picture from the cabin. You can nice make it from there. Maybe I have a phone and you go as this far possible to make photo. I can already feel the okay. cool mountain breeze uh, yeah. coming down. And the part there is only the me. Yeah. And then to go up mm -hmm. and then to go down. down. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the high mountain, mountain is 800 meters. Okay, nice. From the middle part from here and then to the top there, mm -hmm. 2000 from the 65, you know, 2000 from the 65 meters.
final ascent. Okay, so when you get off the cable car, you can see botanical gardens all over the place. It's tropical up here. Got some Mexican bluebells, got some hibiscus. The views over here are spectacular. As we look on Porto Plata, San Isabel de Torres. This is a national park. That's actually a statue of Jesus. I said it was Isabel de Torres. No, the park is named after her. That's a statue of Jesus over there. There's trails, botanical gardens, and if you want to have at it, you can see lots of trails here. There's restaurant, gift shop, snack bar, kiosks, restrooms, etc., etc., etc. So that's what you can do here. They offered to bring you up with a tour guide, but we just didn't want to do it. We can do our own thing. So let's go check it out. And there we are up here by the Christ the Redeemer statue. And there's, I don't know if that's a gift shop or something, I don't know, but there's Puerto Plata. It's about five degrees cooler up here. You do have the clouds also helping, but there is a, a little bit cooler, you're at 2,600 feet above sea level. So let's go check this out. We're up at the statue area. A little walkway, some botanical gardens. 
This was built in 1970, basically, and the cable car was finished in 1975. So this was all early 1970s put in, but 1970, the Statue of Christ. And they say later in the day, the clouds kind of settle in over this and you can't see too much down below, but we can see it now in the beautiful Mariner of the Seas. So we're going to look at some botanical gardens next. Steps go down into the darkness of the rainforest. So we're going to take a walk. We're here at the top of Mount Isabel de Torres, in Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. We're up in the cloud forest, which is a rainforest, 2,600 feet above sea level. And there's our ship docked down below the Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas. Walking on the perimeter. Up in the cloud forest. It's a few degrees cooler up here than it is down there. The clouds help. There's a lot of the communication towers. There's Porto Plata and the ship. Many different types of vegetables, plants, animals, and parrots, lots of crazy things, iguanas. These are those are hibiscus, but they're just not ready to bloom. But this one is cool. I don't know what that is. I've seen it before. All right, so let's keep going. Hey, we're making our way down to see a cave. We came down some steps. It's very humid here. At least the sun's not out. It's not very hot, but it's humid. So you do sweat. But these were really cool. Tropical plants. We'll go this way. They did a good job keeping this really nice up here. It is a national park. This is the cave. It looks like you can actually go down in there. Maybe someone's going down in there. Let's go in the cave. 
These are pretty high steps. Needless to say, if you're mobility impaired, this is not the tour for you. But we have a cave. This was caused by sea level was higher millions of years ago. And this was groundwater coming up, eroding dissolution of the limestone. So all the rivers and streams here are fed by rainwater, obviously. And this is all eroded from the rainwater. At some point, it was below sea level, but let's go take a look. Let's take a look down in the cave. We can go all the way down here. If I'm not back in five minutes, send for help. All right, so see, you have to be careful. I don't know if you're really supposed to go in here, but we're gonna check it out. It is nice and cool in here, and you can't really see, <laughs> but it ends, it ends down in here. So that's the cave the top of Mount Isabel de Torres. And I'm gonna go back up. We wandered around from the cave. This is what they call the lagoon. Recirculating the water, keep it from getting stagnant. It looks like rainwater, like a spring, seep, whatever, comes in and they recirculate it. There's restrooms over here. This is a good spot to take a break. This is cool. So this is a, a little display of a typical house from the colonial era after arrival of the Spanish from 1492 to 1832. The Aboriginal descent that still lived on the island were those who adapted the construction of their ancestor to the style brought by the Europeans. Typical Dominican houses are a clear example of vernacular architecture. It's one built as a more authentic regional tradition. The way of building was born among the autonomous people of each region. The rural houses have a simple volume that constitutes the main body of the home. The rectangle shape is the most used shape. Traditionally, there was no division of lots in vernacular settlements. The fences or palisades were made only in the corrals. The placement of all the houses does not respond to any established land use. So this looks like it has a herb garden. They have a banana tree. Blanca. So we got lots of lots of different things here. Lemon. What is this over here? Lemon Criollo. Different plants. This was the outhouse. So that's the outhouse. And then this was the typical. It kept them dry. That was the main purpose. And this is the bathroom over there. Uh -huh. Yep. Can you use something like this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some cottages, you know, there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have same things. But I think it's not like this. So this is where they would cook, whatever, bake. A little hearth oven. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But <laughs> this is it. Yeah, but it keeps you dry. That's pretty much it. Here's some herbs, and oregano. So there you go. That's the latrine right there. streets over in this area. There's the ship, Mark Ribbon, Mariner of the Seas, Puerto Plata. Right, we're waiting on the cable car to come back and pick us up and bring us back down fun day walking around. We spent an hour, a little over an hour maybe. And the place where we got on is right down there. Here comes the cable car. Love looking from up here. The view's spectacular. And the Umbrella Street is Somewhere in this little area. I see a cemetery over there. Over there. And here comes the cable car. Natural. Heading back down to Puerto Plata. It's interesting, the people in the cable car here, I think there's like three different languages being spoken. German, and Spanish, we have English. It's very interesting. got back in the taxi, the guy waiting for us. Yeah, number one. Rafael. So when I get back, I'm gonna take a walk over to the Umbrella Street, take some photos and videos there. definitely recommend going up to the top of Mount Isabel de Torres. Very interesting 